let's draw a stick figure right here. His arms um, are once dislocated. again dislocated. And what's happening with his hips? <laughs> and then it says that the midpoint right here, point B, this much is 50 centimeters. Centimeters. So then he knows that velocity is equals to s. I'll say change of s. Okay. Or uh, like x. So that's distance. Right. And then, so the velocity is equals to 50 over, it took him one second, it took the ball yeah. one second to reach there. One, uh, one. centimeter over uh, uh, s. Seconds. But the velocity is 50 centimeter over second, but that can never be the unit for velocity. So v is converted. equals to 0. Point, exactly, 0. 0.5 meter per second. Right. So that is the velocity of that. That's but the person, but the person doesn't want to know what the velocity is here. He, in, in well, while they were traveling. The average the person, velocity. Yeah. The person wants to know at. This is average exactly. A average. The person wants to know instantaneously at that point. So in that case, all this gets erased. Right, mm -hmm. all this gets erased, and then when v is wait, v is the midpoint, right? Yeah. So he's dropped it from a hundred centimeter, which is one meter, instantaneous. When the velocity is instantaneous, then the um, displacement there is zero, exact, right? And then zero over zero, zero over zero would just be undefined. Undefined, but that can never be it. So that's yeah. why we need calculus example number one. Example number two, I'm going to say... Wait, are we ever going to solve this? That's We're saying why we need calculus. Oh. Yeah. You want to solve this. This is 50 centimeters, basically half of the entire distance. Then if the person... So that's half. Plus. If the person takes half of the remaining half, this much would be a fourth of that. So plus a fourth. Plus a half of the remaining fourth would be an one eighth, eighth. Wait, and then so half eight. of the remaining one eighth would be one sixteen. So then, according to this person, according to the mathematics, the ball should never touch the floor because it'll go infinity, right? Well, technically, that's exactly why we need calculus because in re in mathematics, the ball's never touching the floor, but in real life, the ball is. So well, let me show you? you an example where mathematics does say the ball hits the floor. So the same thing with one half, one half, one half, right? So this is a square, right? So side minus one. One each side? Yeah. Okay. So now, one half is over here. Right. And then one fourth is over here. And then and one eighth. so on and so on as you describe. But as we go on forever, it eventually tends towards 1, because that's the area of this entire square, correct? Right, 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 right. So, that means that with calculus, that does say. That's why we need calculus. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Shaborna, for showing me um, a basic explanation of calculus. No problem. And thank you so much for showing me this little example, now I want to solve it. <laughs>